everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm the Stone Shamaness. How's everyone this morning or today? Um, it's probably midday actually now in the UK and Monday morning. So I hope you all had a nice weekend. Um, today as you can see I've got my lovely lead crystal um, duck. So I'm going to do a duck breed today. Uh, hopefully um, I'll be able to catch some light codes with that because it does shoot off some amazing rainbows it stuck does. So just a quick breed to help protect ducks. And we do have a lot of ducks in the UK. The, the parks, the local parks. They also need a lot of protection against predators as well because um, the foxes are always after their um, eggs, their duck eggs. So you now I've got some other birds as well. Um, these are glass birds, so they're going to keep the duck company. I think they may be robins, they've got that shape. So we'll have them, the grid to protect robins as well while we're at it. And I've got some lovely selenite eggs. I'm going to put those on. The only problem with the eggs is they do roll off. I have to get it in the right angle. That's it. And I'm going to use a pophilite. Um, it's a really good healer. Um, and it helps with anxiety. Um, they do get bullied, especially in the UK. The ducks do in um, on the lake by swans. Swans are quite aggressive, but I'll do a grid for the swans at um, another time. Um, and seagulls. Um, if you throw bread for them, the seagulls always pinch the bread out of their mouths. So it's um, good for anxiety. So we're going to use some apophyllite, anxiety and fear. And it brings peace and serenity. This is a lovely piece as well. Another close up. So pretty. Now I've also got some another quartz crystal type. I, I don't know what one that is. That one's my daughter's. It's one that she picked up. And there's another beautiful quartz cluster. So that will go on as well. This is like a Chinese quartz. Very pretty. And that one's my daughter's as well. It's selenite and quartz, I think. It's a beautiful piece. I'll have that one on there. And I've got very high vibrating as is too light. And um if you have that one near other quartz crystals, it helps them to vibrate to their highest vibration. And um, it's from the angelic realm. It connects with the angelic realm. So they've got the protection of the angelic realm. And also it removes blockages and it's very protective. So they need protecting from the um, predators like the foxes. Protecting their young from... Um, and the eggs from being eaten and stolen. Uh, I have to excuse my belly, it's just my belly's growling, it's just before lunch. Um, so I'll put that one on. Um, it, do, it puts a protective energy around the body and protects from negative energy. It does like a builds up a spiral. 
So I've also got ice, it's called fire and ice quartz. It looks like it's cracked because when it's heated at a high temperature it cracks. And it does have lots of rainbow inclusions. It's quite a high vibrating crystal as well. And that's another one that um, when you place that on the grid next to other quartz crystals it helps them vibrate higher, amplifies the energy just like um, the Herkimer diamonds. So I'll place that one on there as well. See what else I've got. I've got a Satya Loki, and um, that's another as there's two lights, a clear version of it, and that can go on. It's very powerful. I've got some Angel Aura tumble stones, tiny ones. I'm not too sure on that one. Maybe it's milky quartz. And that one's clear quartz. Clear quartz is great because you can program clear quartz to anything you want it to um, do. So today I'm programming it to help with the ducks and the birds. And I've got these lovely faceted teardrop kind of sun catchers so they're going to go on hopefully I can catch the light with them later and I've got some selenite pieces Again, selenite's good for um, serenity and peace. I'm going to place some selenite pieces around the centre. I'll then put the energy of the crystals around the edge. So it's going outwards. I think that would be enough because I don't want to overcrowd the grid too much. I might mess about with the grid as well. Um, I always do that. I sometimes change it. <clears throat> so it might be slightly different when you see at the end of the video. Well, I sometimes change it or add extra crystals and things to it. So I'm now going to... This is um, lavender. Lavender seeds. It smells lovely actually. Um, herbs go really well um, with crystals, so I'm placing some lavender on. So that's my grid for ducks. Hope you enjoyed it. So before I go, I wanted to um think so this is a short video. I'm just going to take a note from the universe. It's not really an oracle deck, it's just um quirky um notes. So it's nice to read on a Monday. Cheer us all up. So I'll just choose one. picture there. So I'll read what it says. I should have put my glasses on, I always do this. Ever wonder why some of those who achieve incredible success, mass fortunes and enjoy sizzling relationships seem so unlikely? It's because intelligence, looks, even creativity come in a distant second place to believe in. Achievers achieve because they believe they could and followed up with consistent baby steps and so the heavens and earth were moved. 
I believe in you, the universe. Well, oh, that's a lovely message for Monday morning. So I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you all soon.